Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to do your bit by crypto taxes using Coinly. So the breakdown of this video is very straightforward. It'll, I'll talk a little bit about the wallet itself, the exchange bit by, then I will get into the integration. For this wallet, we have a um, auto sync method and we have a CSV file, whichever you, you know, you'd like, um, you can decide. And then I'll break down how to get your necessary tax documentation. This is a Canadian specific uh, crypto wallet. So uh, I will also link to some, you know, crypto um, guides for Canada and whatnot. And then that's the outro. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So they were founded in 2013 and based out of Toronto, Canada. Kind of makes sense for a Canadian wallet. Um, they are one of the most popular exchanges in Canada. They offer four different services, which include Express Trade, Pro Trade, OTC, and API. It is regarded as one of the most secure crypto trading platforms in Canada. They are FinTrack uh, fin registered, which means they are fully regulated as a money service business, which um, I don't know how many crypto wallets have that, but that's pretty interesting. Um, also, they offer industry leading security with their one to one insurance for Bitcoin, uh, which is provided by Knox Custody. So not a company I've actually heard before this uh, only exchange in Canada that offers such coverage also at no cost. However, they don't offer this coverage for any other cryptocurrency. So it's just the biggest, most popular one, um, Bitcoin. All right, so that is enough about the wallet. This is a highly requested wallet, especially for Canadian users. I will now jump into how to integrate this wallet. So start off as always, signing into Coinly, um, going into your wallet section, adding a wallet. Here, we're gonna type Bitbuy because it's gonna probably help us get there faster. We're gonna click this, and now we're presented with two different options. So we have the setup auto sync, which is recommended by us. And then we have also the import from file method first. I'll start off with the setup auto sync. So click setup auto sync. You will now need the API key and the API secret, which I will show you where to get from uh, Bitbuy. Okay, so for Bitbuy, it's a very interesting slash different process. Um, there is actually no quick way or automatic way to get an API key. So what you'll have to do is go down all the way at the bottom, or this is where I found it at least, API is located right here. And you're gonna have to go and actually email api at bitby.ca and ask for api key access okay so we got our api key and our api secret from bitby um in the email they send you they might ask you you know what is the purpose for this api key what do you need it for and all you can say is i need read access only um, i need it for tax purposes and they'll know exactly um, what kind of api key to provide you with so um, just a little, I guess, extra information. So once you have all that, click import, and there you have it. Okay, so I've shown you how to get this using the API method. Let's show you with the CSV file. So same as before, add wallet, um, find the Bitby wallet, click here, and then click import from file. And now in your settings area, your profile, um, you click settings, you get to this page, and you're gonna scroll all the way down to right here, end of year reports. And depending on when you created this account, when you've done your transactions, you might have a few different options, you know, depending on how long your account has been active. For me, I've only done transactions in 2021 and I've already clicked this button and downloaded the report and I'll show you exactly what that looks like. So here are some of my transactions, the date I've made them, quantity, all that good information. So we're gonna take this document, go back into Coinly and just drag and drop it right here. It doesn't get much easier than that. Click import and wait a few seconds for it to import all these transactions. So what Coinly is doing is it's calculating your losses, your gains, it's seeing what kind of currencies you're working with, all that good information. And once you're, once it's done, um, this is actually a different one, I can delete this one, I don't need this anymore. Um, this is now the, the imported from CSV file bit by wallet. As you can see, I've made five transactions and here are the different, now they're showing up here, the different currencies that I'm working with. Okay, now here's the best part of Coinly, in my opinion, is how easily you can generate the necessary tax report documentation. So head over to tax reports, select the tax year that you're working with. Um, I've just put, picked the 2021 for you know demo purposes. And here, here you'll get a breakdown of your capital gains, your P&L, your income, your costs and expenses, all that good information. And then at the bottom, um, this is a specifically a Canadian wallet, so I assume most of you are going to be interested in the complete tax report. You can download it here 
when you purchase one of our plans. And lastly, uh, if you're not from Canada, that's okay. We have tax reports for other nations. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also download or export to, Tur to TurboTax, both online and desktop versions. For the UK, we have the HMRC Capital Gains. We have reports for Norway, Sweden, France, Switzerland. And then lastly, for Canada, Australia, Germany, other countries, we have the complete tax report. Another thing to note is that you can also give this tax report to an accountant, or you can invite the accountant to our Coinly uh, platform. We're working on more content for accountants and how to set up um, you know, your accountancy form on Coinly. So stay tuned for that. And then lastly, this is really dependent on where you live, but some countries have you know, tax deductions for software that helps you with your um, taxes. So Coinly is in fact a software that does help you with your crypto taxes. So you might be able to write it off as a deduction. But that concludes the end of this video. Um, as always, I will leave you with some resources if you need further support. So you can visit our help center where we have plenty of different articles slash videos, um, some of them with me in them. Um, this one actually isn't, but a lot of them have my face all over it. So um, if you need help, you can you know use these guides. We also have a forum section where you can have discussions with our community, as well as people from the Coinly team. And then lastly, if you really need to, you can message us or send us an email. And here's the email um, below. And also I'll leave links to everything I talked about down below. But if you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.